Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to connect Facebook lead ads to Google Sheets and send mail via Gmail. So imagine this, a lead called as John has been generated from your Facebook forms. So you have John's name, email address and all those details. So you want to add John's details into Google Sheets, maybe for analysis or as data backup. Now at the same time, you want to thank John via email. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the details of John from Facebook, sort it out and add him as a data in Google Sheets and also manually send him an email via Gmail. Now this process is actually very repetitive and tiresome. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever a new lead is created in Facebook, automatically add this data into Google Sheet and also send an email. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Facebook, Google Sheets and Gmail. The best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so basically this is a form that I have built in my Facebook forms. So here the data will be entered by a person. Let's say a guy called as Darius is filling in the form. So the name of the guy is Darius. The last name is Morak. This is the phone number of Darius Morak, a bunch of random numbers. And the value he basically works in, uh, let's say, IBM. The payment he is getting is uh, 70 or let's say 90,000. And uh, this is the email of Darius. And this is the full name. Darius Morak. Okay, so basically a person called as Darius has entered all his detail into this form. The first name is Darius, the last name is Morag, this is the phone number, this is the value, that's basically the company. The payment in hand he's getting is 9 million or 90,000. Then we have the email darismoravik663 at the rate gmail.com and the full name is Derek Morag. So basically the idea is that all this data will be inserted into Google Sheets and at the same time at this particular email, Darius will be getting the confirmation message, a confirmation email from me. Okay, so let me just click on next. So Darius has submitted the form. Okay, so the form has been submitted by Darius. So let me just uh, take you to Google Sheet and let me show you the uh, data that has been entered into Google Sheets. And at the same time, I will be showing you the email address of uh, email account of Darius so that you can see the email that he has received from me because he has submitted a form that is created by me. Okay, so let me just take you to the Google Sheet. Okay, so as you can see, we have the details. So the name is uh, Darius Morak. The last name is Morak. This is the email. Then we have the annual salary. This is the phone number and this is the company that is IBM. So basically, this is the data that we wanted to collect and we have got it. And then we have, uh, let me just uh, remove this. Okay. And then we have, uh, let me just uh, show you the inbox of Darius Morak. So yeah, so he has also got the email. So this is the email form submission. Hello Darius, thanks for submitting the form. You will be updated on our products on this email darismoravik663 at the rate gmail.com. So basically this is the gist. Anytime a form submission is made in your Facebook lead ad forms, the data will be collected in Google Sheets and the person will be getting an email from you. Okay, so to begin the actual integration process, in the new tab, let me just type pabli.com. Pabli.com it is. So your obvious question is why pabli.com? Well, we have an app called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Facebook lead ad forms to Google Sheets and Gmail. So this is the website of pabli.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this. So basically, we are going to create a new workflow. Now, before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, uh, let me just uh, close this. There is already a workflow that has integrated the Facebook, the Google Sheets and Gmail. So I'm just going to switch off this workflow. Now, the reason I have switched off this workflow is because we are going to create a new workflow. This old workflow will create the problem of duplication of results. So that is why I've switched it off. But it is actually none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. So I'm going to give the name as Facebook. Facebook 
to Google Sheets to Gmail and let's add integration also okay Facebook to Google Sheets to Gmail integration of course you can give any name according to your discretion now basically when we click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so what we are going to do here is we are going to create a new workflow now if you directly want to access this workflow you can clone the template of this workflow by using the link which I have shared in the description box so in the choose app how about we make it as Facebook Facebook okay so here we have two choices Facebook comments and Facebook lead ads so we are going with Facebook lead ads in the trigger event how about we make it as new lead okay so new lead is a trigger event so your obvious question is what is a trigger event trigger is basically a if statement it asks a question if the condition is met what should be done for example if a new lead is created in facebook lead ad forms then what action should be taken by the system now we do have one more trigger event that is new lead legacy now in case if you want more triggers of your choice all you have to do is just click on this help button and here you will be directed to Pabli forums so basically here you just uh, click on feature request and type in the request that you want to make basically if you have a request for triggers just add the trigger you want okay so let me just take you back to Pabli connect and at this point we are just interested in integrating Facebook to Pabli connect so let me just click on connect with Facebook in the new credentials let me just click on connect with Facebook okay so it is showing the authorization is successful just press ok so by default it is showing two fields the page as well as the lead generation form so what is this page so basically these are all the pages that is present in my facebook account so as you can see there are a ton of pages all of them are present in my facebook account let me just show you so these are all the pages let me just take you to the pages okay so all the pages uh, that is present here so these are all the pages that is present in my facebook account is simply reflected here this is because facebook is now integrated with public connect now as you can see uh, the default page it is showing as technical boy and here it is showing as empty the lead generation form for this page is empty now uh, what if i change the page to uh, let's say my page so i have created a page for uh, lead generation forms only so the name of the page is my page so we have selected the page that is my page and it has a ton of lead generation forms they are the contact form deals for today react course lead form lead capture form first lead form all of them are present in this particular page so to give you a perspective let me just take you to that page so the name of the page is my page so i'm just taking you to show all the contact forms all the lead generation forms i have in this particular page so first of all let me just take you to the publishing tools okay so this is the page of publishing tools here you will find the option called as forms library click this okay so as you can see it is showing the form has been moved to business suit so basically i have upgraded to the business suit but it doesn't really concern you it works fine with the, your normal facebook profile i'm just using business suit it doesn't matter if you are using your normal uh, facebook profile it will also work fine just follow my steps so let me just click on try business suit so the idea is that I will be showing you all the forms I have and from that particular all the list of the forms I will be selecting a particular form. So the form that I am interested in is let's say this one deals for today. So this is the form deals for today and let me just show you the forms. So it is trying to load. Okay. So this is the form deals for today. So I'm just going to click this and what I'm going to do here is next we are going to fill in the details so the last time we had filled the details as there is this time we are going to fill in the details as some other guy so the idea is that once we fill in the details and when we click on uh, this button save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created lead just let me show you let me just uh, take you to uh, the form let me just uh, show you the process so this is the form so I'm just clicking on the test form okay so basically we are going to enter all the details once again so this time we are going to enter as a different person so let's say the first name is Michael Karras the name is Michael Karras so the first name is uh, Michael the last name is uh, Karras and then we have the phone number so this is the phone number of Michael Karras this is the value so basically he is working in Microsoft that is basically the company 
the payment he is getting is uh, let's say 40,000 okay and this is the email of Michael Carras okay so this is the email and this is the full name okay and we have entered it so let me just click on next and let me just click on submit as Michael Carras so a lead has been generated called Michael Carras so when I go to public connect and when I click on save and send test request as I mentioned it will fetch the data of the recently created lead in our case the recently created lead is Michael Carras so let me just click on save and send test request okay so as you can see we do have the details of Michael Carras so the first name is Michael the last name is Carras this is the phone number this is the value that's basically the company Microsoft and the payment is getting 40,000 and this is the email Michael Carras 481 at the rate gmail.com the full name is Michael Carras so basically we have got all the details so now the idea is that we are going to input all this detail into Google Sheets and one more thing we are going to send an email a thank you email or a confirmation email to this email address so first we will deal with Google Sheets and then we will be dealing with Gmail so let me just introduce one more window so this is called as the action window now in this action window we are just going to type Google Sheets Google Sheets this one and in the action event how about we make it as add new row okay so add new row is an action event there are many more action events like get row update row create a sheet create a spreadsheet all of them are a bunch of action events now in case if you want more action events according to your choice you just have to follow the same step you just go to help go to public connect forums and make a request easy okay so basically now your next question is why we have mentioned the method as add new row so to explain you that let me just uh, take you to a newly created google sheets so this is a newly created google sheet so basically it has the same columns that we had in the earlier sheet so we have the first name the last name email annual salary phone number as well as the company so the idea is that the data will be inserted into adjacent rows one by one so the first name field will be inserted then the last name then the email the annual salary the phone number and the company all of them in, will be inserted into adjacent rows one by one that is why we have mentioned the action event as add new row so let me just click on connect with google sheets in the new credentials let me just click on connect with google sheets okay so basically this particular uh, google sheet is present in this account this gmail account so i'm selecting this one okay so it is showing to ask it is actually asking me to confirm my choice so before i click on allow let me just tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us so on the basis of that trust let me just press allow okay so it is showing the authorization is successful just press ok okay so when you press ok a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blanks is very simple we are going to create a data in google sheet from the data we have received from facebook lead ads forms via public connect so as you can see we have uh, the spreadsheet so in the spreadsheet it is by default showing leads from facebook database so we want this uh, google sheet that is leads database this was the old one that is leads from facebook database i'm just going to close this we don't really need it let me just cancel this so this is the newly created one leads database so i'm going to select that one so this is the one we are interested in and we have selected it okay so it is uh, trying to load and set up the profiles okay so as you can see in the sheet it is showing sheet one so this is because there is only one sheet that is sheet one so we have sheet one so let's start map so here we have the first name let me just click on this mapping button and in the first accordion you will find all the details that we have received from facebook so the first name is michael and we have mapped it similarly we are going to map the last name so the last name is Karas, and we have mapped it the email so this is the email so where is our email so this is the email and we have mapped it now coming to the annual salary so the annual salary is forty thousand, and we have mapped it then we have the phone number so we do have the phone yes phone number and we have mapped it the company i think the company was microsoft okay yeah and we have mapped it so basically we have mapped all the details so when i click on save and send test request it will send the data to adjacent rows in this particular google sheets so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request 
Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent. So let's have a look. Yes. So we have the first name as Michael, the last name is Karas. And this is the email. This is the annual salary. This is the phone number. And this is the company that is Microsoft. Excellent. So now comes the second part. We are going to send an email to this email address. So this is the email address Michael Karas 481. So to do that, let me introduce one more window. So this is another action window. And here in the choose tab, let's make it as Gmail because we want to send an email. Now, other than Gmail, you can use MailChimp, Constant Contact or any other email marketing tool. But in my case, I'm just using Gmail, but the method will work exactly the same. So let me just click on connect with Gmail and the new credentials click on connect with Gmail. OK, so again, it is trying to authorize. So this is the account with which I will be sending my Gmail. So I have selected it. Okay, so it is asking me to confirm my choice. Let me just press allow. Okay, so excellent. Show it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So as you can see, again, a set of blanks has appeared. So the very purpose of these blanks is very simple. We are going to compose a message from the data that we have received from Facebook lead ad forms via Public Connect. So in the recipient name, we are just going to map in the name. So the name was, we are going to get it from the first accordion and the name was Michael. Okay, so we have mapped it. Now, similarly, we have the recipient email. So this is the email address where we'll be sending the mail. So this is the email address. And then we have the name. So the name is basically from name. So from name is basically me. So this is my name. My name is Aaron. Okay. And uh, from email and uh, using this email address, we will be sending the email. So this is the email address. Okay. And the email subject, email subject is let's say form submission. And the email message, hello. And uh, we're just going to map in the name. How about full name? Hello, Michael Karras. Thank you for filling out our form. You will be getting product related information at this email address. Okay, and we are just going to map in the address, the same address, okay. So basically we have composed a very simple message. Hello, Michael Carras, thanks, thank you. Thank you, okay, I'm sorry, thank you for filling out the form. For filling out our form you will be getting product related information at this email address. So all we have to do is just click on save and send test request. So let me do that. Okay, so the API response is showing the message has been sent. So I'm just taking you to Michael Carr's email account. Okay, so let me just refresh this. Okay, so once it is refreshed, I will show you the email that Michael Carr's has received. So it is trying to load, let it load. Okay, so as you can see, he has got the email form submission. Hello, Michael Carras. Thank you for filling out our form. You will be getting product related information uh, from on this info on this email address. Okay, so this is the email address. Excellent. So basically, this was the whole integration. We have successfully integrated Facebook forms to Google Sheets to Gmail. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So that is why I'm just going to minimize this action window. And I'm going to minimize this action window and I'm going to minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Facebook lead ad forms to Public Connect and then you have created the data in Google Sheets. And of course, you have used Gmail, this action window to send an email. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Facebook and Gmail. Excellent.